guys, I think it's happened. I didn't think this day would come quite so soon. It is simultaneously fascinating, surprising, and kind of creepy. What I think has happened is I think AI has started making not only YouTube channels, but AFL YouTube channels. I was surfing YouTube, you know, last night, as, as you do, uh, looking at AFL content, and one video came up in my recommended that kind of caught my eye because it was new and interesting, but it also at the same time looked very wrong. There was something off about it. I'll get up on the screen now, look. So this, this is a channel called Go Pies, latest news today, in brackets, fan Collingwood. So it's almost like, it's giving strong butt vibes, right? Look at the description. First of all, the, the emoji in, in the title, well, that's new, I mean, a human could do that, but there's something Something different about this. Look at the banner, Australian football, important alert fan channel. We do not represent the official Collingwood channel. Yeah, you'd think that was obvious. Now let's look at some of the content that's being put up on this channel because I'm still trying to work out for sure in my head whether this is somebody utilizing AI to make content about AFL and specifically Collingwood or has an AI actually made this channel itself. I'm not fully across AI yet, but I do think that's distinctly possible. And as we watch the content, you'll probably see why. So first of all, look, looking at these titles, they're just very clickbait titles that you associate, you know, you just see around the internet sometimes that don't actually say anything. They're not even really using that, that many keywords. Uh, that you know, emojis confirmed. It, it's all very odd. Let's just click on the most recent video. Loyal Magpie supporters, it's with great pleasure that we bring to you the latest news straight from reliable sources. Get ready to embark on a journey filled with emotions and exclusive insights about your beloved team with a promise of transparency and truthfulness. Okay, so the first thing off the bat is that it's an American narration. Now that is probably just explained by the fact that somebody could be using AI to simply narrate a video for a script that they've written. So they could have potentially used AI to generate a script. They could have potentially used AI to then do a voice narration. I'm very confident that this script was at least generated by AI because I've messed around with AI a little bit in the past and it does throw some weird stuff out there. They're loving words like fair dinkum and ripper and it's narrated by an American accent, which just sounds wrong. Let's keep watching. So this incredible news. For those of you who've been supporting the Magpies for over a decade, consider subscribing to our channel. Your unwavering support means a lot to us, and you'll always receive the latest news about the Pies. Okay, so he says, if you've been supporting Collingwood for over a decade, subscribe to our channel. So the, the thing as well that makes me think this is not a human controlling the channel is because surely, and I, I do want to be careful here in case somebody is m making a channel using AI and I'm just roasting their channel, I'm just intrigued by this. But surely somebody catches up that that's just a weird sentence. Like Collingwood's been around for over like 150 years or something, right? So I feel like if somebody was a genuinely an AFL fan and constructing a script, they would have at least edited it. But let's keep going, let's keep going. Attention faithful Magpie supporters. Get ready for a showdown of epic proportions as the CEO of WS Dave Matthews ignites the flames of rivalry with his recent controversial statements. In a bold statement, Matthews left no room for ambiguity, firmly proclaiming, we hate Collingwood. This declaration. So this is creepy because this is that did that was actually in the news recently, right? Like I, I don't think I even really clicked on the article. I just saw a headline that GWS, the CEO, made a comment uh, about hating Collingwood. Whatever, whatever. It's just off-season puff piece. But that means that potentially, if my theory is correct, that this is simply AI making content. It is reacting to news in real time, which, as far as I'm aware, things like ChatGPT don't. She comes as a direct response to Collingwood's victory over GWs in the 2023 AFL preliminary Jeez. final. Now I want to show you a different video here. Uh, this is going back three months. This channel has been around for like six months, I think. I think it's all been post grand final. And the editing as well kind of looks like it could be generated by AI. It's decent editing. It's better than I can edit a video, but it's something that I can't quite articulate. It just looks very artificial. But let's watch this video about, you know, Lockie Schultz's um, interview recently. Lockie Schultz, the latest addition to our squad, has raised some eyebrows with his bold move from Fremantle to play for Collingwood. But what's the story behind this audacious switch, you ask? Lockie Schultz, a 25-year-old bloke hailing from Victoria, spilled the beans in a heartwarming interview held at the Collingwood Olympic Park headquarters. He said, Victoria is home to me. Being able to return to so, okay, we've probably seen enough of that, but again, reacting to, to real news stories, like I, I presume that interview was real, it's getting footage from all the right places, it's editing it creatively, if not in a very aesthetic way, 
But even just looking at the title, you know, Collingwood Craze, unmissable updates and exclusive insights. Like this to me, the script itself sounds like AI because it's just like overly exaggerated. It's almost like how I understand AI kind of vaguely works with this sort of stuff is that it kind of goes and looks at what other YouTubers are saying and sort of coming up with the script in, you know, instantaneously trying to match what generally YouTubers will say. So it's kind of just mixed it into this weird article, but it's getting the facts right. It's not quite getting the titles right, but it's also hard Parting comments, look down here. Uh, so someone has said, very excited to see him play in the black and white. Uh, and then someone called Mark says, a fair tinker video clip about a bloke. It's a ripper, top notch. That's a, that's a reference to those buzzwords that are coming up in these videos a lot. It is so weird. I saw on another video, someone commented, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> but it's, it's hearting stuff. So I don't know if this is a human controlling it, trying to utilize AI to try and make some ad sense, like maybe that's what they're doing, but it, it's coming across as though this whole thing is AI. Even just going back to the profile picture here, like that looks like an AI image generator as well, which, you know, isn't proof, but this whole thing is kind of creepy to me. So what did I do? I decided to go right to the source and I decided to ask ChatGPT, what are the current AI capabilities with respect to making an AFL YouTube channel? Now, the first answer it gave me was kind of like how you can utilize AI to help you with different things. So it can help come up with thumbnails, titles, etc., like that. But what I was trying to ask is, can it start its own YouTube channel? So you can see up here uh, that I've got, is it possible that AI could create a YouTube channel of its own volition? And it says, as of my last update in January, 2022, it lacks the capacity to autonomously create and manage a YouTube channel. So that's the thing with the free AI, which is what I use, I don't pay for ChatGPT. Everything goes up to a certain update. So if you ask it anything happening in the current football world, it won't be able to do it. And so this ChatGPT actually has no idea whether the current day AI could create its own YouTube channel. And based on what I've generally heard about AI, the idea that it could start its own YouTube channel, start making content and start, you know, making money somehow and probably like buying shit online. Like, I don't think that's, that's super crazy. And I think it's starting to happen. And I think it kind of poses some really interesting questions about what is the future of AI you know, creating content. Am I going to be made obsolete as an AFL YouTuber? Based on that, I think you got some time, but given where we were a few years ago, like give it a couple more years, at least we could be seeing channels that pop up as like news channels at the very least. You know, you'd like to think there's always gonna be a place for like human perspectives, right? So in a way, we might not ever get truly absolute, but what if AI starts making content so good that, you know, you stop watching guys like me? It's just an interesting thought experiment. Like, this is creepy to me. And again, I do apologize. If this is somebody that has started their own YouTube channel and trying to utilize AI and it's coming across a bit clunky, but they're still trying to work it, I didn't mean to roast your channel. I just think this whole thing is strange and worth exploring. For the record, I do, I have used ChatGPT a little bit to help me with videos, you know? Sometimes it's just like a time-saving device. Like if I'm writing a long script, sometimes I'll put all of my, you know, working out my research, because that's important. You need to, you need to do your own research and then say, can you rewrite this? And it's written a script for me and it's generally just come off a little bit dog shit. Now I'm sure I could pull different levers and be like, okay, this is my writing style, rewrite it in that, but I haven't, I haven't been able to generate anything, you know, worth, pursuing. All I really use, you know, AI for is to try and help me get more efficient at what I do. Obviously not trying to rely on it to make content for me. But I don't know, man, this is weird. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, do you think that an AI made this channel? Because I think that is more likely than somebody running it. But, it, but it's all possible. And I probably, yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. But could be a sign of the future. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.